call this nail Seaside and Aguadilla because when I was on vacation, you know, I just still had to do my nails and I didn't want to leave the beach so I took a piece of it with me and I uh, put the sa sand beach manicure on my nails. Uh, so we're going to start by taking um, a few shades of blue and making the ombre um, of the ocean start with that like light color and go all the way to the deep rich blue of the ocean. So I laid down a very light sheer turquoise with a lot of sparkle in it. But I would recommend uh, when you're doing the ocean because all the glimmer that gets picked up in the sun, you want to use a metallic. You don't want to do this with flat blues. Uh, so get three shades of metallic blue. First I did light turquoise, then turquoise, then a, a deep, rich, sort of a peacock blue. And don't forget, since we're going to have sand, the sand is going to be in a ruffian French at the base of the nail. So after applying that medium turquoise, I go in with a deep peacock blue that's shimmery. And um, you know, with the beach, you don't, the way the waves are, you don't want to necessarily lay it like an even ombre. You want it to sort of stack up on one side more than another. That'll give it more of a realistic beach quality. Try to think of dabbing it down in waves. If you twist your wrist while you're holding the sponge, it will give you these round shapes as opposed to a flat square or a triangle. So it's just a gentle, gentle wrist motion to give you that radius. So now I'm gonna go in and add the white sea foam where I think the waves would crash. You can do this with right, white acrylic paint or nail polish, but you want so little on the brush because it's just a little bit of foam. This is one of the rare times where I actually prefer acrylic paint to nail polish. Acrylic paint um, is great to paint with in general, but it leaves a dullness that top coat I think just can never quite bring out. So I try to use it sparingly when I do use it. And here I'm just going to do it for the sea foam. And you just sort of want to dab, dab, dab. If you feel like you got too much on, you can just blend it with your finger. You can get the acrylic paint actually at beauty supply stores. It's pretty common in nail art, so they do carry them. I just prefer lacquer. But like any artist, it's the medium you like and that you're comfortable with. The color is more about the depth of the ocean than the wave. <laughs> 